everyone. It's really good to see you again. In this video, I will be taste testing more products. It's, I didn't mean to make one, another one so close to the last taste testing video, but the whole reason I'm made the last video was for one particular product that I had purchased and I forgot about it. It was in my closet. I had safely tucked it away and forgotten about it. So that will be my first product that I show you today. I have one, two, three, four, five, and about six products to show you. These are brand new to me, maybe not brand new, but new to me. I've never tried them. And I'll just give you my opinions on them, whether I like the tastes or not. And you can decide from that whether to go and try them yourself. I'm wearing this dollar store tiara for the upcoming holidays in March. Happy March, everyone. Welcome to the new month and almost spring. I know a lot of you out there have had a hard winter and are ready for spring. So I'm ready too. All right, let's begin. Our first product comes from Costco. It is called Unicorn Popcorn. Is that a funny name? It's a fun name. And it says, From the land of delicious, an enchantingly magical treat gallops in, all tasty, rainbow-colored, and fruity. Introducing Unicorn Popcorn. It's from a company called Popcornopolis heard of that before. Tangy citrusy frosting dances atop a kaleidoscope of naturally fruit flavored candy coated popcorn creating a dreamy snack of mythic proportions. Here's the nutrition information. And to preface this video I will not be taking many bites of the products a very small uh, sampling sampling of each product and I'll save it for later I've already pre-opened this big bag and I will pull out one of the ten popcorn cones that you get. Pretty cool. There's nutrition information on the back of each of these two. It's a really cute packaging. Vernon, California, and it's very tightly packed like a helium balloon, so it doesn't really make any crinkling sounds, but maybe this does. try to pull it. It says right here, tear across. So I'll do that. And it comes open very easily. Here's what it looks like inside. So let's try. 
one looks like it might be cherry. Mmm. Very fruity. And there's... Wow. Like, not chocolate, but it has that consistency of chocolate, but only fruit flavored attached to the popcorn. Very sweet. That is delicious. Okay, that might be a snack later on for me. <laughs> In between my samplings, I'll wash each taste down with a drink of water. That was delicious. Definitely thumbs up. Of all the taste testings I've done and all the videos, that might be my number one choice. Number one. I like it. This is something I had never seen before. It's called Snack Worthy Simply Butter Toffee. It's very light, the bag. And it's 140 calories <clears throat> per three-fourths three of a cup. These are baked, not fried, light and crispy corn puffs. I'll read to you. Snack worthy, simply but simply butter toffee puffs are uniquely delicious light and crispy corn puffs that are coated with a sweet and rich butter toffee coating gluten-free baked not fried and simply free from 100 plus unworthy ingredients they're better for you better for your budget and better tasting so. you don't have to break the bank to afford something worthy of snacking. I don't see any tear slits, so I'll try opening it by pulling it apart. That's what's inside. Cornmeal, butter, corn syrup, sugar, brown sugar, canola oil, and soy lecithin. And they look like this. They're very, very light. And you can see the glaze on them, little shiny glaze. Those are very good. You can tell that they don't have much sugar. I don't like them as well as the, of course, the candy popcorn, unicorn popcorn, but they're very good. They remind me of sugar corn pops, Kellogg's sugar corn pops. I used to buy that cereal and put it in a in baggies and take it to work for snacking. I might do that with these. Excellent though. I have not been disappointed so far. Okay. This next product before you say anything or think anything I have tasted this candy before, but I've never seen it in this shape. How about that? <laughs> I love Reese's peanut butter eggs, Reese's peanut butter cups, Reese's peanut butter stars, not stars, Christmas trees at Christmas time. 
but I've never seen them in this kind of an egg. Sort of like the filled Cadbury egg. So I'm just gonna kind of take a bite off the top of it and see how buttery, peanut buttery, and ooey gooey it is. I'll open it with you. It's just a foil wrap like the Hershey Kisses. like a little Easter egg. <laughs> it has the carvings on it, just like an Easter egg. That's really cool. I'm going to keep it in its wrap because I'm going to wrap it back up for dessert sometime. But Oh, and it says Reese's. It's written on there. I don't know if you can tell. But Reese's is written on there. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to take a bite off the top. Okay, first of all, that is rich, all right? And the peanut butter, actually it's more like pure peanut butter. It's not the um, more dry, it is creamier and more moist than the peanut butter filling of Reese's Cups. It just doesn't have the same consistency. This is smooth, it doesn't have any little um, not chips, but it's not as powdery as the Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. This is very creamy. So, I guess they're trying to compare it like Cadbury eggs, only with peanut butter cream instead of the white and yellow cream. But, yeah, it is different. It is different. And do I like it? Of course. Yes. Um, but, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't make a habit of eating it every day. That will be a treat for dessert, and I probably will not ever buy it again because, you know, once Easter comes, it, they're gone after that, so. I have one more sweet um, product to taste, to test, and then two savory products. The sweet product is, I've always seen this in stores as I'm in line to uh, check out. They always have this right up there to get your, to pique your interest, get you to buy it. These are brownie brittle. This is brownie brittle. I found this at the checkout at Walgreens. It's very uh, enticing, isn't it, the bag? It says a chocolate indulgence you can feel good about. Sheila G's, rich brownie taste with a cookie crunch. Um, the nutrition information is, um, there's three servings in here. And each serving is only 120 calories, so that's not too bad. Um, there's bleached wheat flour, palm kernel sugar, powdered sugar, palm oil, riboflavin. That stuff's not too good for you, but uh, soybean oil, dry egg whites, cornstarch, salt, dextrose, leavening, baking soda, soy lecithin, natural flavor, and non-fat dry milk. I like the sound inside. Pretty, it has very pretty packaging, I think. Brownie bread off. I'm going to read you a little bit about the founder. Uh, Sheila G. 
It all began when Sheila G., a passionate, chocolate-loving baker, took a treasured family recipe for brownies and baked her way into a thriving business. Like many brownie aficionados, Sheila is particularly fond of the crispy edges, and they were her inspiration for Brownie Brittle, a thin, award-winning treat with a rich brownie taste, an amazing cookie crunch, and only 120 calories per serving. So I'm going to try it. It has a tear slit right here. This is the snack size. Mm. Smells like baked cookies or sort of gingerbread y. But that's the inside. Let me pull one out. I'll try one for you. Oh, that's cute. They come in these square shaped uh, brownie pieces. And I guess there's, there's, this flavor is chocolate chip. So there's chocolate chips in there. And they're all like that. You know, when I envisioned this, I thought it would just be oddly shaped, randomly shaped pieces, like just torn apart and thrown in a bag. But they're all this shape. And each piece has about two or three chips on in it. a Ziploc to close it up, but it's definitely for those that like the crispy edges on brownies after they've been sitting out for a while. I don't think I'll get those again, but they're good. So far, everything has been edible. <laughs> but uh, not repeatable, like the Reese's egg and the brownie brittle. Really too rich. I mean, I really can't afford to be buying those things all the time, so. But definitely good. And it's not sweet, sweet. It's not, you know, going to make, when I eat something really, really rich, and super, super, super duper sweet. The top of the roof of my mouth tingles or it gets a, a, a strong feeling in it, which tells me, whoa, this is too rich for you or, or slow down or something. But no, these are just average tasting. I mean, not super sweet, but good. Okay, my next product is a savory product or just a regular whole food product. It's it's from uh, well, it's, it's a regular store brand and it's pine nuts and you're probably thinking she's never tried pine nuts before. Let me say this it's probably been in the foods I've eaten but I've never like bought a pack and snacked on it by itself to eat. And I'd like to very much take this with me for lunches. Um, these are whole pine nuts. I guess some of them come sliced, diced, but this one is whole. And it's 220 calories per quarter cup. So there's about two servings in here. So I'm only going to have like two or three nuts because 
so high in calories. This was $6. This was $5.99, and there was no discount on it. So this is a very, very expensive treat, which, again, I probably won't get it again, but maybe once a year as a treat to sprinkle on my salads or to eat with raisins or just as a snack. But $5.99 for a half cup of nuts. Okay, and this is what it says. Scientific evidence suggests but does not prove that eating 1.5 ounces per day of most nuts are as part of a diet low in saturated fat and cholesterol may reduce the risk of heart disease. And I need to watch that for myself. So, um, let's see. Yeah, I tried to pull it apart, but I'm going to have to cut it with my trusty scissors. It smells like regular nuts. I don't think these are salted or anything. It just says pure. Yeah. It doesn't even have the ingredients listed, so obviously it's just nuts. That's what it looks like inside. You know, I've seen on my street corners, sometimes there'll be uh, vendors selling them from their truck. And they're probably much cheaper than this. And you can probably buy them at your farmer's market. I wonder where around here locally they, they harvest pine nuts. I don't know. I'll have to do research on it. But apparently they do. I could eat these this whole bag. Mmm. Okay. I'm not going to say they're more bitter than cashew nuts. Well, I will. They're a little more bitter than cashew nuts, but they're creamy. When you eat them, they're creamy. They kind of melt in your mouth, sort of like cashews do. Um, it's very soft. It's not crunchy. They're not crunchy. They're very soft. So, you know, one or two bites, bite downs on them, and they're mush. <laughs> Um, so not as hard as peanuts or macadamia nuts, but um, I don't know how to describe the taste, but very good. Oh, six dollars. I, I still can't get over that. And that's the store brand. It's not like planters or anything. I don't even know if you can get pine nuts in planters, but. Anyway, so my final and last product to taste test for you today is something I saw in the grocery stores. I've seen it a long time in the produce department. Harvest snaps. The savory crunch that started it all. And since green peas are the first ingredient, Harvest snaps turns farm direct vegetables into pure deliciousness. New look, same great taste, fresh picked goodness. These are green pea snap crisps. So they're made completely of peas with some rice, canola oil, salt, and calcium carbonate with vitamin C added. Oh, and it does say it's not a low sodium food. So. But they have eight other products. This is, it says say lightly salted. 
there are eight other products from this company called Calbee. Um, wheat, is it wheat cheddar? Habanero pepper? Wasabi ranch? Tomato basil? Um, that's with lentils. Black bean uh, snack crisps with a mango chili lime flavor. And then I can't read black pepper, pea crisps, and the other two I cannot see. There's just pictures of them, but they're just too small. But they're baked and never fried. They're farm direct peas, 50% less fat than, I guess, other snacks, other country snacks in the potato chip aisle, found in the uh, produce aisle always. non-GMO. So I'm going to open it at the side. It has the slits for opening which makes it very easy. And you can reseal. Smells like peas. Go wonder. Definitely a green vegetable. <laughs> smells like greens in there. I wonder if they do this kind of thing with broccoli or Brussels sprouts. Or, I don't know. Let's see how they taste. They look like this. They look like, they look like pea pods. These are good. I could eat this whole bag right now. They're 130 calories per serving. And there's three servings in here. Of course, don't be deceived by the size of the bag because the servings start about halfway down <laughs> the bag. Um, the salt definitely helps. You know, these make me think of the styrofoam peanuts that you get in the packaging. In boxes. They say some of those peanuts are edible too, that they use for packaging products. I've never tried that, but yeah. and it looks like the styrofoam. <laughs> but it, that's why it's so light. It's a lot of air in there. One more. I like these a lot. I want to say two ninety nine for this bag, but it depends where in the country, of course, you're buying them, what store, what not. But Harvest Snaps. So I would say I like these equally. But for the price, <laughs> these are better. But of course, this is a whole food. I mean, this comes straight out of the ground. This is processed. They had to make these. Even though it is from Farm Direct Peas. Um, the Simply, let's see, Snack Worthy, Simply Butter Toffee, snacks. The puffs, they were very good. Um, I mean, but you could do the same by going and buying a box of sugar corn pops. Brownie brittle, very good. Um, but if you like more fudgy, soft, chewable uh, brownies, those aren't for you. So I like all four of those. The unicorn popcorn is very good. Sweet, fruity. 
And it comes in purple, blue, green, yellow, and pink, pinkish red, which looks like um, cherry. And they do have the drizzle, the frosting drizzled on it, like a birthday cake. Let's see, I'll show you. See the drizzle on this? So, yeah, if you like sweet sweets, <laughs> really sweet sweets, that unicorn popcorn is for you. And it comes 10 to a bag. I got it at Costco. I haven't seen it anywhere else. And then, of course, the Reese's peanut butter egg. Again, the peanut butter is very, not liquidy, but not dry like the regular Reese's cup. It's more smooth, I mean, like peanut butter. Like a Nutella consistency. But it is just the peanut butter flavor of the filling, and then it's surrounded by a chocolate shell. So, anyway, thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate you followers, I mean, subscribers. If you like it, please hit like below. Um, if not, I'll try to produce more videos that you like, hopefully. I'm going to be doing a page-turning one soon. I know that happens to be, I think, the most popular of all of them. And the role plays as well. But again, thank you for coming and joining me today, or tonight, wherever you're at, in this video. Testing some of the new products, or new to me, that are out there right now in the grocery stores, at least in, in the United States. And for you foreign followers or subscribers, um, you get to see a little bit of what we Americans are eating now, currently. So there you have it. So until next time, take care. Hope everything goes your way and that life is treating you well. Bye-bye. Right.